Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's review of the Rucker Comfo R Gore-Tex jacket. The name of this jacket is actually a pretty good clue to its purpose. The Comfo R is mainly about comfort. The bulk of the outer is made from Cordura stretch material, which means there's more give in this than in a normal bike jacket. It's a light material and it's got a very good amount of stretch, which means you can afford to wear this in a closer fitting size. I went down a size from my usual choice and I possibly could have gone down another size actually. There are 500 denier Cordura reinforcements at the shoulders and the elbows, which toughen the jacket up in those key impact zones. These two materials, the stretch and the overlays, combine for an overall rating of single A in the latest CE standard for protection. Behind that outer layer is a waterproof Gore-Tex drop liner. It sits as a separate layer inside the jacket, protecting you from any water that gets past that outer shell. That shell is treated for water resistance and retreating that over time with a water repellent spray will help you stay drier for longer. The jacket fastens with a water resistant zip up the front and then there's a thin storm flap over the top of that and there's also a wider guttered storm flap behind the zip. If any water does get through the teeth of the zip then that guttered storm flap will channel it towards the bottom of the jacket. That outer storm flap then secures at the base with a press stud but I would suggest remembering to make sure you do that up to be sure that there's no exposed metal that can come into contact with your bike's fuel tank. I wore this jacket in the rain for about an hour and I stayed dry throughout. The jacket took a while to dry out completely afterwards, but it wasn't too slow and it was okay to go again when I put the jacket on the next morning. The collar, it's like most of Rucker's collars, it's got a neoprene section that sits high around the neck for a good seal against wind and rain and then it closes with a Velcro panel across the throat. If you want to leave it undone, there's a panel under, on the underside that lets you make sure the scratchy side of the Velcro closure can't then stick to your helmet liner. There's also a roll-out storm collar inside the neck roll, which you can unfurl for better weather resistance when it's raining heavily. Rucker's high necks can feel a bit restrictive, especially at first, but it's definitely the most effective way of keeping out wind and rain, so it is worth persevering. The cuffs for this jacket, they're simple Velcro closures that leave plenty of room for even a winter glove to fit inside. I think it'll be easier to fit a glove under rather than over the cuff, but that's fine for me as that's how I always ride anyway. The jacket, it's got fit adjustment at the biceps and the hips, and there are also air vents on the back and at the hips. The jacket's inner membrane means air won't flow directly through to your body on the inside, but opening those vents does bring down the temperature inside. There are two external pockets on this jacket, they're at the hips, and they both offer plenty of room for your stuff. Moving to the inside of the jacket, first up we get to the thermal liner. Rucker are generally moving away from putting thermal liners in their jackets as standard, but you still get one with this jacket. It's a 60 gram liner, so it's not the thickest available, but I rode for an hour in 12 degrees Celsius with a thin base layer and a t-shirt underneath that liner, and I was warm enough in that. Much colder than that though, and I think you'll want an additional layer in there for warmth, but the stretch material means it should be easy in terms of space to accommodate that. Once the thermal layer is zipped out, then there's the lining that holds the armor. The torso section of that lining is made from mesh, and then there's a smoother polyester lining for the sleeves. The standard of shoulder and elbow armor is possibly one of the best aspects of this jacket, full stop. It's D3O soft armor that meets the higher level two within the CE standard for impact protection. It's also type B armor, which shows it covers more of the body than a type A protector. Sometimes the difference in size between a type A protector and a type B protector is quite marginal, but it's very, very easy to tell in this instance because the armor in this jacket is more like armor for a giant than for a normal human being. There's a back protector insert included as well, which is also D3O, and that meets the basic level one of the CE impact protection standard. Overall, the protection level, as I said earlier, for this jacket is single A, which is the most basic level of protection against abrasions, tears, and burst seams. Pocket provision inside the Comfo R is good. There's a Napoleon pocket on the left-hand side, and that's got a separate section within it to make a phone easier to reach. A second Napoleon pocket on the other side of the zip is roomy as well, and both of those pockets are waterproof as they're inboard of the waterproof membrane. There are no pockets in the thermal liner, but you really don't need them as the two Napoleon pockets, in my experience, gave plenty of space for carrying my stuff. When it comes to stopping the jacket from riding up, you've got a couple of options there. There is a crotch strap that's attached inside the rear of the jacket and that feeds between your legs and then attaches to a plastic loop at the front. That's not for me, that strap, but I've got a friend who wears Rucker kit a lot and he absolutely swears by the crotch strap. 
If you're like me and you're not mad keen on that, there's also a full length connection zip that you can use to attach to Rucker textile trousers. If you want the complete jacket trouser combo, there are matching Comfo R trousers. They've got a similar construction and they've got the same single A CE rating. They cost £589.99 a pair. Add that to the £759.99 price of the jacket and you're two pence shy of £1,350 for the full shebang. One thing I do want to talk about on this jacket though is sizing. I normally wear whatever size converts to a 40 inch chest. With some brands that makes it a medium and in some brands that's a small. With Rucker, 40 inches is a medium, but I still ended up in a small. On the whole, Rucker jackets come up a little bit big in my experience, and that is exaggerated by the amount of stretch material in this jacket. I'd suggest get your usual size in inches, find the corresponding size for that, and then consider going one size down like I did. Okay then, it's time to sum up. Overall, I am a little bit torn with this jacket. If you just look at the bull facts, it's £760 for a jacket with a drop liner and a single A CE approval rating. If you're someone who rides in the rain a lot, especially for prolonged periods, and even more so if you ride day after day in the wet, then I think there are better options. If that's you, then I think you'd be better suited spending this sort of money on a jacket with the membrane laminated to the outer shell. Rucker's Calyx 2.0 jacket has a membrane laminated to the outer shell and that one's £70 cheaper than this as we record this. That saving will go most of the way towards paying for an optional back protector insert which you'll need to bring it up to the standard of this and you'll also need to wear a warmth layer under the Calyx 2.0 if you ride in the cold. Like most of us have got a fleece or something like that that will do that job without causing us extra expense. Now if you want a jacket that works well in high temperatures then one with a removable membrane will be more effective than this as you can take it out that membrane and you can have a far cooler jacket in general but really for most UK conditions and most riders a jacket like this with a drop liner will be absolutely fine and as for the CE rating I might be wrong but I think this is a price to pay for the amount of stretch in the jacket jackets with stretch materials like this often get a single A rating and that suggests that you can't have a high stretch material like this that's also highly abrasion resistant it's up to all of us individually as riders to decide which of those is more important to us flexibility and comfort or outright toughness. But what I can say is this jacket feels special to wear and special to ride in. The stretch material gives it a fit that's unlike most other jackets. It fits closely, but it doesn't affect my ability to move around on the bike at all. The substantial and large CE Level 2 armor also feels very reassuring. The quality of construction is high and the attention to detail throughout is very impressive. Even things like the internal pockets are a cut above the norm, making it easy to keep essentials where you can get at them easily. And also, Rucker's six-year warranty counts in its favour, especially if you ride a lot. Though, remember to register with Rucker to get the full duration of that warranty. Really, with this jacket, the clue's in the name. If comfort is your priority, then the Comfo R jacket would be a great choice. I hope that tells you everything you wanted to know about the Rucker Comfo R, but if there's anything you'd like to ask or to add, then please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching.